Episode number eight, Melons in a Nutshell. Hey everybody, it's Dak here, and welcome back to The Adventures of Zenonia. So, you may have noticed I haven't put out a video in a few weeks now, and if you don't follow me on Twitter or any other site that I post on, you may not know that I lost my voice, and you can probably hear it right now. Still not completely back, but kind of enough to record. I'm going to try not to talk too much today, because uh, it doesn't feel too good. First off, I want to show you what I did while I was gone. Um, I took out a lot of the wool here, you may notice, and made it grass. It's still coloring in over there. As for the woodcutting farm, this is all the same, but I built these two rooms. This really, this hallway isn't complete. But there's a second tree farm here now. Spruce trees. And underground. Let me get down there. Under here. Pretty much the same as the other tunnel. There's the chest to collect the saplings in the wood. Uh, not a lot done here. But I, I do think these woodcutting farms, honestly, the wood production has gone up immensely. It's 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 great. I love it. Today's project is going to be the melon farm. Uh, this is way down here. I built all this out, another like six or seven chunks. That was annoying. All right, right here, <clears throat> this little chunk that is marked by these four grass blocks. This is where the entrance to the food farms is going to be, not just the melon farm, but the, all the food farms in general. Here's our supply chests. And first things first, we're going to make the entrance. I'm not going to show you the entrance because it's the same exact entrance as the, uh, the woodcutting farm. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to build that right now, and I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, everybody, I finished up the wall here. It stretches down a few blocks. There's a dirt on it over there. I'll break that later. I expanded the path down in here and made this little four-way intersection. And I took the liberty of digging the hole out here because I didn't feel like you guys wanted to see me dig dirt. Yeah, that was exciting. This is where the melon farm is going to be, and eventually it's going to go to this chunk here too, but gonna stick to this one just for today first things first I'm gonna put down a layer of pistons there should be 12 make sure they're sticky pistons because they do need to pull back the dirt that will be on top of them Two, three four perfect and another layer right next to it there we go now go four blocks away and do the same thing just like that and then on the other side do the same thing not too good at placing these things there we go alright that should do it I did just notice that I will need this side to be dug out so I'm gonna do that quickly and under here too and I'll do that other side in a second I'll show you what we do now this part <clears throat> I'm going to put a repeater on every other uh, piston this is just the way that I connect the redstone to pistons there are actually many ways to do it. You can put repeaters on all of them, you can on none of them, however you want. I just do every other because I find this to be the easiest way for me. Alright, sorry for that little cutout. I had to turn my chat off. Had some kids who were starting to talk to me and yeah, that's basically it. So I'm still doing the same thing as I was a second ago, just on this row now. I apologize for not being able to speak in 
laugh with you guys as much as I usually do. I'm sure it pains you as much as it pains me just to hear my voice. It's not too bad. It, I wish I had recorded myself when I didn't have it. You guys would realize there was no way that I was putting a video out. It was I had to whisper everything pretty much. There we go. And this should be it on the repeaters. I'm going to have some extra ones, which is good because I always need redstone repeaters. I'm really lucky I built all this in a swamp biome because there's slimes spawn all the time. But they're, these pistons, that was most of my slime ball collection so now I'm gonna have to gonna have to redo that one all right here we go <clears throat> excuse me now I'm gonna connect the redstone all the way down every line I'm gonna do that on all three layers now pretty much I'm gonna stop at this one for a second if you put a charge right on this redstone here it would turn on all of the pistons in this row and in this row. And that's, that's pretty much what we want. Now this isn't the most, there's really not much of a most effective melon farm. I built this idea, <clears throat> excuse me, and I decided to look up other ones, but really I didn't think a melon farm, I didn't think it was necessary to make this some giant contraption it's it's just melons I'm gonna dig out here a little bit I do believe that if I get the feeling this is one too low or too high and I'm hoping it isn't because that would be such a bummer but uh, I'm gonna put <clears throat> it is I do see what I did wrong. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to destroy all this and make it one lower. I'll be right back. All right, guys, uh, sorry about that mistake there. Uh, I moved everything, not the pistons. I moved all the redstone down one so that they're charging the dirt under the piston, and that should still turn it on. This way I can get the water in there to plant the melons. I don't know what I was thinking before. Just screwed that one up. <clears throat> All right, so I have these pressure plates, and if I place one there, that should turn on that redstone signal and turn these two inside rows on. Hopefully, I did it right. There it goes. And I think I set one up here. I'd be wrong. It's right next to it. There's the outside row. Let me break this quick. Got to do that again here and here. So now all the rows work. Next step, I'm going to put some dirt on the top of each piston. This, uh, oops, this little dirt row, ugh, I knew I wouldn't make that jump. I don't know why I tried. Represents, uh, it's going to be the, the like tilled dirt that the, the melons all sit on top of. And pretty much what happens is when you step on those pressure plates, it'll push the dirt up and bring it back down when you step off. And that will break all the melons and pretty much save you from having to walk back and forth and punch the melons until you get the blocks so now you understand why it's not it's not like a super efficient <clears throat> excuse me a super efficient automatic melon farm by any means but it, it gets the job done and I, I personally kind of like it I don't know about you guys all right I'm gonna put dirt here and here, and I'm going to leave this, oh, I can't leave the middle row out yet. So I'm going to leave it out for this, this split second. All 
Okay, so now I have left out that middle row, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it here. Uh, you got to build it backwards, right? I'm just going to put hoppers in it. For, for now, I'm just going to leave it as a row of hoppers, but you will, in fact, see where those hoppers go in, in a little while. Just right now, I'd, I'd rather not have to go replace it. That'd be kind of stupid. So just putting it there, because that's where they're going to end up. And I'll show you their use in a second. Now that I have that done, I'm going to put dirt on top of the dirt, and that'll leave the hoppers exposed. All right, so I got some buckets of water, and I'm going to fill up right on top of these hoppers. You guessed it, water. This is, um, you need water to till the dirt if you didn't know that. I'm sure most of you watching this know kind of basically what I'm doing now, the idea of the melon farm. If you don't, really, uh, you need to be, what is it? It's four spaces. It can be diagonally, so I can go one, two, three, four. This space would work too away from a water to have the tilled dirt become wet tilled dirt. If it's dry, then it can't grow any seeds. Oops. So right here, we have the two rows of water and now, oops, all of the row, all of the dirt in this chunk is within four spaces of a water. So now it is time to plant my melons. Okay, I thought I brought exactly enough seeds, but I have way more than I need, so I'm not sure who counted those. No, I'm sure I know I counted them, but I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so now before I can show you what's up, we need to wait for this to grow. Uh, I'm gonna go grab some bone meal to make the stems grow quicker, and I'll be right back. All right, uh, I bone meal all the stems so that they're full, and while I'm waiting for some of the melon to grow, I thought I would explain how melons work to anyone who doesn't know. This melon stem, when you plant the seed, it eventually grows into this stem, and this stem can grow a melon block on any adjacent open dirt block, so it couldn't grow to this dirt block next to it because there's a melon stem on it. And that is why I have these protruding dirt blocks that I will get rid of. I'll just make the dirt under them wool or something. I'll do that some other time. That is so that it doesn't grow over to this dirt block instead of this one. And that then standing on the pressure plate wouldn't break them. When you break a melon block, you get melon slices. Melon slices heal one food bar a piece. That's basically melons. Melons in a melons there you go all right uh just gonna keep waiting for all these to grow all right so while i was waiting for the melons to grow over here i figured why not just move on to the next part while they grow and that's what we're doing now on this side of the melon farm we are going to have the collection building that's pretty much where the hoppers are going to end up or yeah yeah i said that right <laughs> And um, this this building is not going to be used a lot. Not a lot of melons going to come through here. It's really all going to end up in your inventory. That seems like the right height. But I do think it is important to make something pretty out of it. That's that's basically as I have said many times during the series. That's what I do as I try to make the stuff look cooler. I'm not really that good with redstone. Like this is. One of my better redstone projects at the moment is this really dinky melon farm over here. So here we have an outside of a building, and I'm just going to fill this in quick.
All right, so we have this little room here. And before I begin speaking, let me go grab the supplies. And in that in that room is not necessarily going to be the chest where all of the, um, all of our melons are going to end up. This room is pure decoration. I'm going to put that out there right now. It's nothing but looks. So I'm putting green green stained clay in here and mainly because we had extra from the uh oh this is not going to be enough is it <sighs> hate hate that I calculated everything out other than green clay I think I eyeballed it no this might be enough yep we're good just barely Okay, and then I'm going to put the stone brick up here. So it's a similar looking design to... Oops. Oh, we're running out of stone brick. Okay, let me go grab another stack of that. Alright, we're back. <laughs> similar design to the woodcutting farm. But, um, different... Well, same color walls, I guess. Different colors on the floor, you'll see in a second. And this, oh, I guess that was already filled in. Alright, um, pink or red first. Pink or red, pink or red. We'll go red on the outside. And then we're going to give a little, not very original pattern, but still effective pattern with a little, what would you call this? And you just, every other layer. Not a swirl, like a box that you switch every other layer sounds good to me all right so this goes i think until it's nine deep because in the middle of the room smack dab in the middle yeah we'll go one more pink and then check it out i think one more red maybe getting to be nighttime soon. Uh, nope, I think that's it right there. Uh, I'm gonna dig out a hole right here. Of course, I built a dirt platform over instead of filling in all the water and that might hurt me right now. But I'm pretty sure filling in the water would have been just too much for me too, so whatever. All right, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna make it daytime quick. I mean, it is daytime. Okay, we got a few seconds. You can still go check on the melons. They're looking good for now. Uh, I need nether brick. This is where the actual designing came in. If you if you follow me on Twitter, uh, if you don't, it's at 85 Dakota 85. Not too creative. If you do follow me on Twitter, I let's see. I said something about having. Uh, builder's block instead of writer's block. This was what I had builder's block about. I, I could not, for the life of me, figure out how I wanted to make this part of the melon farm. It was it was just too much stress for me. But um, I'm not 100% on this design. I'll admit that I, I'm going to make it nighttime or daytime while I talk. I, I do wish I had a little bit stronger of a design for this, but I... I can't really be picky. It took me a long time to come up with it. And it I think it's good. It's not bad. That's for sure. But uh the nether brick, I always I like building with nether brick. I think its color goes goes well with a lot of stuff, but it's I don't know, it's always been tough for me like exactly what I want. I don't want to overdo it, you know, and it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to collect in my opinion. I I hate getting it. But, uh, <clears throat> I'll continue this now. There we go. Turn these dirt into nether brick. So this is, this is going to be an adventure here because of the water. Uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to fast forward this quick.
Alright guys, I had to cut out a little more than I wanted to because we're running out of time here. It's getting longer than I wanted it to be. So I finished up this tunnel and I took out um, some detail that I was planning on putting in. Uh, there was going to be some melons in the... Oh, that's... That creeper's back there. I gotta be careful. I was going to have melons in the walls and... Excuse me, nether rack... Uh, sorry, nether brick fence, stuff like that. Kind of decided against it. I already put a lot of work into it and I felt like it's looking good. I extended the hopper tracks, so right on this block and on this block, they both, oh, I guess one behind it on here, it heads downwards and then heads that way and connects to that chest. So, well, let's test it. This, this is pretty much it. This is what's going to happen. i got to build a building around it, but I'll do that in a minute. Once I walk into the building, I get to step on all four pressure plates. A little bit of lag will happen. That'll be pretty used to that. Now, did that one already grow back? or Yeah, it just grew back really quickly. Now, as I walk up and down, it just picks up the melons for me. And look, look how many melons. That's, that's pretty good. I was going to extend it one further in that direction. I think I still will. And uh, this this could produce a ton of melon really quickly. This that's good. And then some of the melon could have possibly fallen in the water, and that's what the hoppers are for. It uh, takes a like if I had to pick it all up in the water, it would take so much longer. See how slow that is. So now all those melons are going to be in those chests. If any went in there, I've tested a lot, and very few melon go in the water, but some do. And I don't have to replant because the stems are there. So that's that's basically my melon farm, guys. Let's go see if any melon fell into here. Any melon fell into the chest. And none of it did. So I'm going to show you how it works quickly, just just so you get an idea. Let's say all this melon went into the water instead of onto the track. Those 39 melons should show up in this chest momentarily. Now I haven't tested it. What are you doing in here? How did you get in here? It's pretty light. Oh, up here. Oh, ho, ho. All right, take two. Now we have 31 melon. Huck it in there. I did fix that hole that the creeper made and the hole that the creeper didn't make, but he did drop into. A little upset about that, but we're all good now. And how many melon was it? 31? It'll be here momentarily. And here it comes. So that's that's pretty much how it works. Now there are three small things I'm going to do off camera quickly that we need to add. First off, how do we know that this is the food farm section? Second, how do we know this is the melon farm area? Because potatoes will go here, carrots will be further on. And third, this this needs a building. That's that's basically it. That's not gonna be exciting. But hopefully these two things are exciting. We'll get right back to you guys. Alright guys. Uh, this is gonna be the last little segment here. I built the building and put some iron doors and pressure plates. And here's our melon farm. Oops. Oops. Alright, getting annoying. All right, and then I did the same thing over here. That goes down there. And then I made two two different little signal things. Show this one from this side so you don't see the other right away. Uh, diamond hoe. Not, nothing too special. It, you probably expected it since the other one was a diamond axe. And for the melon farm, I made a big melon. Yeah, you like it? I like it. I like it. I think it works well. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you guys for watching the video. Go ahead and drop us a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Join the cul-de-sac by clicking that subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at, at the Ed Boys, and go ahead and check out the Foxcraft website. All links are in the description.